In the eighth episode of D, Making of a Beast, the participants deal with the anxiety of losing the two pound a week requirement of D's beast mode after the first week. You will see many participants in their celebratory dance after removing themselves from the scale, along with the nervousness of stepping on the scale. Well, they ready. Gets on Stacy for the crap she puts on her food log over the weekend. Stacy, I don't know why you. My ears started hurt. Straight out. You can hold me too. Just going to get off, Stacy. You got to get off. Go ahead, Stacy. I saw your food log yesterday. Where's my mic? Oh, you didn't have your mic. Stacy, you got to get off. Go ahead, Stacy. Get back on. That don't count. <laughs> Good job, Stacy. <laughs> She's stripping. <laughs> no, I'm like, do I need to take it off? I'll take it all off. I'm saying. Next week, I'm wearing some shorts like tea. Yeah. Mahogany loses seven and a half pounds in the first week and Dee cautions her about getting too happy because there's potential to gain back some of that weight the following week. So, you might not want to Next week's gonna be a different story. I'm gonna let you know. Get happy now. Yeah. Uh, you lost a lot. Oh, yeah. You lost a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, next week you go. Yeah. <laughs> you lost a lot. Yeah. 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 There's something going on there. Look at that! 
Why is he waiting? No. I don't even want to see that number. The next day, Archer, Eddie, and Clove discuss the weigh-in from the previous day. The participants discover what happens when someone does not lose their two pounds and are served with the special treat. So yesterday was the um was the weigh-in. I was frightened the entire day. I prayed and I made it. Woo! I made it. I don't ever want to owe. I'll just put that out there. I don't need no special treats. I'm fine with the regular treat. Every day, plain old normal bland workout. I'll take that without any special treats. Next week now, we'll see what happens. She gonna owe next week. I'm not gonna owe. She is. I'm never gonna owe. Yeah, that owing stuff. I'm never gonna owe. They had to work out before we got started. Then they continued with us. Then we left. I left at 8.30. They were still working out. There's no way hell. So, um, but yeah, so I will do my best to never be in that category. Um, because it was horrible. I felt so sorry for as I was driving home. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep it up. Uh, yesterday for me, all I can think about is I did not want to eat. I was not hungry, which is kind of odd. I'm normally normally hungry after a workout. This time I wasn't. Um, I had to push myself those squats. Um, we made it through. I made it through. Ice with me. Um, I got the ice line. Both of my knees hurt today. Just but um, that's it. It was done when we started. <laughs> you should have zero on your gray. I'm sorry. All right, cross. The only reason you got to have these gray yesterday is because you lost weight and did your full log. That's the only thing that say you, or you would have got a zero. For real? What? Why would you give me a zero yesterday? I wouldn't have gave you a zero. You would have earned a zero. I didn't earn a zero. I, I at least earned a frog yesterday. At least a frog. As other participants arrive, Dee continues to badger Stacy about the crab legs that she consumed over the weekend. Crab legs in the building. Hola! Hey. Crab legs. You want to talk about your crab legs? I'm not talking about my crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> and shrimp. I have a healthy um, option of crab legs. Oh, what's that? It's steam and bacon. But I thought they already had sodium in them. That's what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> My presentation is on coffee creamer. It should be on sodium shots. You and this one right here. Oh, I didn't cut down on my sodium shots. Today is Stacy's day to present her beast mode report. No, no chop. You won't. <laughs> I may do with what I had. I have some pictures. Everyone should have a copy of the presentation and as Dee mentioned, I have a couple of challenges. One, of the crab legs, and obviously coffee creamer. So <clears throat> the focus today is, is um, what is coffee creamer, the good, bad, ugly, and then recommendations for healthy substitutes. Okay. And um, I know we're going green, so I'm still a little old school. I'll still post this on the site you know, for future reference. Okay, the first slide. Um, it's just a picture of like common coffee creamers that we all see. <clears throat> Some of you may have them in your refrigerator, but by the end of this presentation, you probably will, uh, well, hopefully you'll clear them out. <clears throat> I myself have that natural.